it's much easier okay. to die there. LFA versus Heroes! Set up five! LFA versus Heroes! Set up five! Yeah, with those uh, angled ledges, it's really easy to get those sta well, uh, stage KOs. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You know, uh, playing Ganador, I just love getting that up B and just bouncing them right off the angle. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah, you guys are We're good. You can go whenever. All right, looks like our first matchup is Paulina versus Inkling. Inkling, new character on the, uh, but a uh, really, really, really great character. Very quick, uh, interesting mechanics, uh, and always seems to pull out something impressive. Oh yeah, absolutely. Paulina also well, probably one of the most buffed characters, uh, coming from Smash Wii U over to Smash Ultimate. Um, although. Um, Shadow's Inkling in general, I've actually seen it quite a bit lately. We've seen it. he's been um, he's been entering a lot of ultimate tournaments at Tafal, and he's been putting up an honestly really solid run so far. He's been really building a name for himself so far. So we'll have to see if he continues that trend. Very nice. Yeah. Um, always great to see uh, players just improving over time. Yeah, absolutely. Sometimes people sometimes you just need like that new game to like be that last push you really need. Yeah. In order in like in order to break into the higher echelons and Shadow's really showing that up. It, it's like leveling up really. Like it, Yeah, it really <laughs> is. You, you just hit the right amount of XP and all of a sudden you're miles better than you were last game. Yeah, exactly. So right now we've got a really even we got a really even game here. We see um, Cross trying to opt for a little bit more of a defensive play, which is probably smart considering the matchup. Inkling, a character that's super dangerous up close, and Palutena, a character that's not afraid of playing the distance game, especially with that explosive flame that you see, that side B. He's probably going to try and hang back, uh, throw a few of those ink bombs out there, try and get the uh, the, the ink on her, and then uh, follow up with some uh, quick up front in person attacks. Yeah, absolutely. Especially the forward smash and the up smash, particularly probably some of the most notorious cook confirms in the game off that roller. Yeah. Nobody likes getting hit by that, but Inkling mains definitely love hitting it. So, <laughs> and Shadow, Shadow's definitely no stranger to landing a lot of victories off that. Or maybe you don't even need it. Maybe you can just go for the bucket instead. <laughs> I mean, I was landing. gonna say the bucket's not a bad option. I think uh, all of uh, Inkling's smash seem to be, you know, pretty great as long as uh, and. Uh, with that side B, as long as you pull out of it quick enough to, to, to get the punish, uh, you can you can pretty much do whatever you want to him. Oh yeah, for real. <laughs> multi jab from Palutena ends up detonating the splat bomb. There's going to be a ton of ink on Karaz. Right now, especially with all this ink, Shadow's in a great lead here. You can really turn this into a ton oh, of damage. Here we go. There it is. Mm -hmm. Wow, 70% all the way to 115. Just off of that. Just goes to show you just how crazy Inkling's damage is. Ooh, throws him off. Flex the splat bomb and yep, catches oh. the landing with the up smash and just had nowhere to go. Excellent play. Really with some foresight on tossing that um, splat bomb at that range. Oh yeah, absolutely. And now we see um, Cross trying to fire back as much as he can here. Oh, excellent catch on that up smash, and that's going to send Shadow into a situation where he has to try and land. I got to yeah, take real quick. All right, and now we're going to see... Oh, we see Shadow here getting the roller, but he doesn't get any follow-up. He just gets a decent amount of damage off the roller itself. Back throws him, and he's going to lap him in percent now with his stock lead. And that up smash is going to seal the deal. It's going to be game one going to Shadow with a very, very solid victory. So... <laughs> so while you're getting enthused about what's happening on the stream. Yeah, seriously. I'm gonna tweet I'm gonna post on Facebook about the stream real quick. Just give me one second. So I wonder if we're going to see any character switches or we're going to see the same thing we're used to. And it looks like that's what we're going to see. We're going to be, uh, we're going to see a rerun of Karaz's Palutena against Shadow's Inkling in this game two of early bracket. And all right. Shadow opens up with a really nicely placed couple of splat bombs, actually. Not just one, but two. 
And good parry, but he doesn't get much off of it. I think he tried to punish with the forward air, but it missed. And now, Karaz is just painted teal now. He's going with the, away with the neutral air. Wow, the fade back on the, on the explosive flame, but he lives to tell the tale. Or throws him off again. Oh, he catches the roll. Karaz panics there after the upbeat, and that's going to be the stock going to shadow. All right, he back throws him off. Just get some stage control. Excellent neutral there from Shadow there, just to hit him away. Put him back in his flat bomb range. All right, Shadow's just, Shadow's just moving away, trying to get some ink. Oh, the narrow to the splat bomb. Another neutral air, but he doesn't get much off, else off of it. I think he wanted to go for a roller tech chase there. Cross nearly catches him with that up smash. Trying to call him out on that high up B. And he's getting a lot of pain on him again. What is going on? He catches him again on the roll, and that's going to be the next stock going to Shadow. And he's just playing this match through and through. And the amazing call up by Karaz just run up and charge the up smash on him. Doesn't get the stock, but that definitely sends a statement. Now we've got oh he catches him the roll he catches the roll in and that's gonna be the stock going to Karaz now. Possibly a big shift in momentum inbound. <laughs> Yo, I've never actually seen that before. Do the reflector with the uh, with a uh, Palutena. You can actually reflect the ink from the splatter shot. That's crazy. Oh my gosh, Karaz just is reading him like a book right now. He's just struggling so much to get past these splat bombs. There's the down smash. Ooh, there's the up just to escape. Possible, Vic, possible demise right there. Ego versus Doris. Set up three. Ego versus Set up three. All right. Shadow makes it back on the stage. You need help? Oh yeah, what was just in the middle of a uh, phone call? But um, oh, okay. He comes back later. You can come with him if you want. Cool. I'll probably have to play soon. So. Okay, cool. Is this game two or three? Yeah, this is game two. This is um, between Shadow and Karaz. So far, Karaz has had a big momentum shift, but he's already a kill person, so it might be a little... Oh, that's... Oh. Oh, oh he God. messed up the spacing just up by a little bit. That's There's bad. Explosive Flame. All right. This is one stack apiece right now. If Karaz keeps this momentum, this is far from over. Ooh, that forward throw means a lot, though. As is the splat bomb. <laughs> <laughs> that same splat bomb bails and him out. that was it. 2-0. Oh, hi. It's going to be... Uh, hello. Hey, hello. What's up? It's going to be a 2-0 going to Shadow there. And a very nice game, too.